judges. So are there yes. times where you were sitting in the courtroom and you would feel yourself between a rock and a hard place and you would say, I wish policymakers understood X before they did Y, because now I've got to I've got I wish, to navigate this, the reality of the situation. I wish every policymaker would understand that you can go not to federal court. You can go to your state court and learn so much about the health of your community. Hmm. Interesting. Um, because, and, and I wish every policymaker would spend a day in court. Hmm. Because, again, we're talking about people mm -hmm. and you know it's very easy in the policy space to kind of crunch numbers mm -hmm. um, or you know sit and be smart and write a really good article mm -hmm. um, but you really mm -hmm. going someplace and seeing it you know seeing what happens in a courtroom seeing having the experience of a sentencing where a defendant speaks for himself and the victims speak for themselves mm -hmm going to a prison and seeing a prison in jail is really an assault on every sense you got. Mm, so. <laughs> oh, it's cold. It stinks. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's mm -hmm. ugly. Just, you know, everything's cold to the touch mm -hmm. even, um, you know, and, and understand, go mm -hmm. to the places and meet the people about the policy that you're making. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and again, like it, it helped me so much. Yeah. Like, so here's a, a, an example. Um, I had one case where um, it was a case where the, it, in Ohio's Twin Valley Behavioral Health is mm -hmm. what I'm dealing with. So Twin Valley filed a motion so that they could forcefully medicate someone. Mm -hmm. And so this man, um, and he was probably about 6'4", 250, he was a big guy. Mm -hmm. And he had schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. And what happened though was that he firmly believed that they were taking his blood not to monitor his medication, mm -hmm. but he firmly believed that they were taking his blood and giving it to vampires. Mm -hmm. Now, that might make some people chuckle, but when mm -hmm. you take a minute and realize if you really thought that was happening, how terrifying mm -hmm. that must be. Mm -hmm. I had never come across that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was doing a whole lot of big company A versus big company B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. You know, it was so helpful the first, that was my first case like that. So mm -hmm. it was so helpful to be able to say, okay, I've been to Twin Valley and I remember Dr. Kukor explaining how this works. And I remember Dr. Kukor, who was like the head psychiatrist mm -hmm. at the time, I remember him showing me um, the different wings mm -hmm. um, at Twin Valley. So mm -hmm. I know that this person would probably go over in this wing and be with these people. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm, mm -hmm. so I, I had just not an abstract mm -hmm. view of what I was doing. I actually could picture in my head what I was doing and yeah. where I was sending somebody. Yeah. And that was so helpful to me as a judge, and I'm convinced that it will be helpful to policymakers too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's such great advice in terms of um, really making the investment and caring enough about what you're doing to make the investment to really understand the context and the consequences of the choices you're gonna be making. Yes, Right. Yes. So part of what I hear you saying is you really absorbed the gravity mm -hmm. of what you were doing in um, that process and really wanting to know as much as you could about the, the conditions, the circumstances, the implications mm -hmm. of the choices you'd be making every day. Right, and yeah. I would also add, also understanding what it means to have a felony. Mm -hmm. It is a scarlet letter F, mm -hmm. it absolutely is. Mm -hmm. um, and you can talk about that abstractly, mm -hmm. or you can go talk to somebody who has a felony and see what they're going through. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing for you to read about it, it's another thing for someone that you are looking at, mm -hmm. that you can touch to tell you, I have a felony, so I'm having problems getting a job. Mm -hmm. I'm having a problems getting housing. I can't live with my mom mm -hmm. because she lives um, in certain housing that won't allow mm -hmm. a felony to a felon to live with her. Mm -hmm. You know, all these different things that people go through when they have a felony. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to read it; it's another thing to either do it or talk to someone yeah. actually affected by it.
Yeah. I want to shift gears and ask you about some of the other kind of policy issues you've been thinking about, talking about during your time here as a Towsley. And I know that um, you and uh, Professor Ann Lynn did an amazing session on the Supreme Court and the affirmative action cases. Um, you've been involved in conversations about the Dobbs decision mm -hmm. um, and all of the different policy, hot topic, voting rights, voting access, and at one point you, you worked for the Ohio Secretary of State. I just wonder what policy issues are you following really closely right now? Mm -hmm. And what perspective are you bringing to them as someone who's had the professional background that you've had? One policy issue that I'm very interested in is expungement. Mm -hmm. um, because again, like I mm -hmm. said, having those experiences where I didn't think somebody should be paying at 50, paying for at 50 with, for something mm -hmm. that they did at 20. Mm -hmm. um, so that is absolutely a policy interest of mine mm -hmm. as well as those alternative sentencing options. Mm -hmm. um, because I think that prison is strictly punitive, at least the way that it's set up now, mm -hmm. it is strictly punitive. It doesn't have anything else to offer mm. because we're um, most places aren't putting their money into the programming mm -hmm. um, in prisons mm -hmm. and so a lot of times with prisons uh, people are coming out mm -hmm. uh, the same way that they went in mm -hmm. um, but I still think there are people we need protection from. Mm -hmm. So I'm not getting rid of the prison, Celeste. Yeah, I hear, I, 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 it's been fascinating because we've had a lot of conversations about this.